Hello gamers, today we are going to talk about the game Pentiment. Uh, it's a captivating storybook art style inspired by the colorful manuscript of the area. It's, it's, it's so beautiful and uh, well stuff happens in this game and it's also going to um, unfold the mysteries of murder. Yes, this is a, a murder mystery game, a detective game and you're actually uh, this artist that uh, is a make-believe, makeshift uh, detective and trying to scramble uh, getting the ideas of who murdered and who is behind stuff but also learning about the history of tassing and everything like this. Uh, not trying to say too much about the game uh, but, but because I, I really 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 if you haven't seen the gameplays uh, and seen ev anybody else play it jump into it play it uh, I, I, I do believe most people will enjoy this game if you are into click point and click games and story games so pentiment is a, is a walking art piece it is holy shit it's a art piece of the and a love letter to to history and uh, uh, the Bavarian culture and stuff that happened in, in medieval times here in Europe. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. And it teach, it teaches me much more about that time period that any history uh, lesson in school did. So uh, I don't know if that says anything about the school system or if it says something about the game. But uh, th this game makes makes me want to explore this uh, all the history that took place in this 25-ish year period we are in right now where where we see history in the making over a, a time span of 25 years i mean this is maybe the best point and click and story game i ever played um yeah <laughs> simple as that it's uh, the music uh, is very atmospheric and very haunting and very time period and it's very awesome i really enjoy the music of this the, the whole game is a masterpiece from uh, the sound and everything and and one of the things is that um the characters everybody they they don't have voices so they just talk in in, in like a, like a comic script uh, bubbles but with handwriting if there are the simple people and more um uh, scripted or um, printed words if they are learned or scholared and stuff like that so it's amazing it's so amazing you can read so much about the people the story and the period um, you actually talk to people that are talking in handwriting and then turn over to when they uh, reveal themselves as a learned person and then they shift the, it's, there's so many small little clues and hint and, and stuff you can uh, put some there is so much love and thought in this game it's insane uh, Josh Sawyer and Obsidian has um, offered a very simple story but extremely effective and it's, it's extremely complex <laughs> so, yeah, so it's all the things and I don't know how they did it they knocked it out of the park so uh, yeah this is my little love let letter to the game um yeah the it's amazing the, it's uh, one of the things that really sets Pentiment pentiment apart from it's it's a captivating storybook art style the colorful manuscripts of the area are brought to life in a way that's downright and thrilling the characters are distinct and memorable and the environments are full of hidden details and surprises the sound design is equally impressive the music is atmospheric and haunting and the voice acting uh, isn't there at all <laughs> it's all in the the bubbles with the writing um so pentiment is a game that's not afraid to explore complex themes such as morality justice and human nature the story unfolds at a steady pace gradually building tension and suspense as you work to unreveal the mysteries there are moments of sadness, joy and wonder that will stick with you a long time after you finish the game. Seriously. Um, in conclusion, Pentiment is a game that's easy to get lost in. What a game! Oh, what a story! It's so many things you can, 
you can um, take snippets out of and make uh, like a, a big discussion of and talk about because there is like there's so much look at all this research of history <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> thank you for thank you for making this game fucking <laughs> insane game <laughs>